And if you don't like it, change it. And you don't get it. This is all me, honey. Only just the heart shakes. I think it's absurd. to start my day my second shower for today actually because i showered I, I showered in the, in the morning and then i did my whole routine worked out and then i showered again so this is my shower for the day right and i blow dried my head of the day it was looking a frizzy mess it's been raining this weekend but i thought that by being at home my hair wouldn't encounter the humidity well that's not true because my hair was a frizzy mess so i had it tied down while i worked out you can see that it's still a little bit poofy more here and this is still straight because of the keratin treatment that i had and you know, I got a trim, which was more like a haircut the last time that I went to get a soap press at the salon. And the hairstylist said that my hair was healthy. She cut off what needed to be cut off. So this is what's left. Now I want to put on this long ponytail, but I'm always so conflicted because by the way, this, this uh, pajama set is chin. I'll link it below. I'm always so conflicted because when I put my hair in a ponytail, when it's straightened like this, it's so long that I'm like, okay, what's the point? But I just want it to be longer. I don't even know. And it's also not doing anything. If I curl this, it's not gonna stay. And then I do need to get this down. Just, I like my hair to be more smooth. So that's where I use the edge control over all of my hair to lock it all down, right? Cause I'm not gonna just, get dressed like this. I, I'm i filming, right? Makeup and all that. I just, I don't want the frizzies. I want it all sleek. But then when I see my hair in the ponytail, I'm like, why do I need to add a ponytail? I just want it long. I'm conflicted, as you can see. Maybe I will do a little bit of a curl or maybe just leave it. Do I just leave it? Is that even a vibe? I don't know if that's a vibe. It might not be the vibe that I want. Let me get my, my package is almost here. Let me get that and then think some more <laughs> and see, because really what is the point i'm gonna still lay all of this down though because i want it to lay without the frizzies and then i'll fill in my edges because clearly those need to be filled in you feel me i need my packages delivered as i told you before just for ease and i do tip well in case you're wondering thank you so much good morning hi Thank you. You got more. Okay. I should go put on my outside shoes. Itching shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta sanitize my hands. Uh, I just have a thing with germs. I don't have time to go through all of it today. See, even that quick stint to go outside, look, my hair got even more frizzy than it was before. <sighs> okay, let's just focus on the this part. I'm not gonna focus too much on the back because you're not gonna see that. I'm just gonna focus on all of here. So let's get that down. I'm gonna go back with Baskin Lather from TikTok Shop. I enjoyed this last time. The thing still remains the same for me. After I do this, my hair's a done deal. It's just gooey, it just, 
I, I can't go more than a day with this. What are you all doing? I know people will sometimes part this and go section by section by section. No, I'm just going to do the quick version because, excuse me, I just need this down now. I'm not trying to get longevity with this. I'm not looking for this hairstyle to last me a week. Just really today, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, but definitely today. <laughs> so look, it has the white going on, but when I brush it, it should be cool. So good morning, Dawn, and you feel me? Good morning, Dawn, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. I have so many new products that I want to film, try out for the first time. I love first impressions. I, I don't often go back and use the products again in a talking type video, but I want to do that on YouTube. I like doing that. The chit chats, I normally just end up, however, doing a first impression video. So anyway, just a thought there. Sephora sales coming up. Can you imagine? I used to shop at Sephora a lot more than I do these days. However, when I do shop, I do shop online because it's just easier. So I do have stuff on my wish list. The heart, you know how you can heart stuff? I have stuff that I've hearted just as a reminder, things that I need to re-up on. So got to do that. And then if you watched my makeup declutter video, I was reminded that I was saying in the video, Oh, I got to restock on this. I got to buy this again. It's old. And I was like, shoot, I never, ooh, I never got those things. I got to get those things like the, this is us for, this is outside drugstore, like the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation, which is a bomb. The NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I, I wonder if they still have that. Like, is that still a thing? Because a lot of times these things will be discontinued, which I can't stand because, yo, if I like it, what's the issue? What is the freaking issue? You feel me? Now, I was actually talking to a girlfriend of mine about time management and squeezing in other things that you want to do, but you feel like you don't have the time to do it. And what I advised her to do, which is what I do, is to use a calendar. And I want to share this with you in case you feel the same. If you feel the same, if you're like, oh my gosh, I want to start doing this more, but when am I going to do it? I don't have the time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. Okay, you have the same hours that I do. Praise the Lord. It's just a matter of what you're doing with that time. Amen. So what I told her to do, which is what I do is use a calendar. If you're not using a calendar, you really should. I like it. And then I told her to write down what she's actually doing with her time each day, hour, literally, if, if you are spending 12 to two looking at social media, put that down. If you're spending two to six standing at the wall, put that down, right? Whatever it is you're doing, write that down. And then, and I and I like to use colors. I like to see how, see, like, see, I like my hair just slicked back. I don't have a frizzy look ever. And then uh, I told her to use colors because for me, I have a color for everything. I have a color for my personal stuff, my business stuff, my assistant, family stuff. I just have different colors. I have a color for vacation. So that when I look at my calendar, I know what's going on. I ain't got to guess and be like, what is happening at whatever. I know by the colors, what's going on. And then, of course, it says what, what the heck is actually going on. Okay. So then I told her to put down what she's actually doing with her time. You can do it by the day or by the week because you know every Monday, Monday through Friday, for instance, maybe from 9 to, or let's say 7 to 9, you're getting the kids ready to go to school. You know that from 8 to 8.30 you're in the carpool line. You know that maybe you work from 7 to 3. Whatever the case is, you know those things. And then on a day-to-day -day basis, you can make updates to what you have to add and, and subtract. And then you can put down the kind of stuff that you want to be doing that are not on your calendar and maybe a different color for the stuff that you actually have been doing. So you get a visual and then you realize, yo, I really be wasting time doing this when I could be doing that. You feel me? So yeah, this is slicked down. It's not the most perfect. I could tie it. There's a little bump right here. I don't know why. That's okay. It just looks real. Looks, looks real. <laughs> Whatever that means. Got a little bit of white flakes. My hair is fresh, so those white flakes are definitely the product. Hello? And, and and anyway, that just gives you a way, a visual to see what you're spending your time on, and then you can determine if you like that or not. And if you don't like it, change it. Cross off the stuff that you've been doing, and then have a list of what you actually want to do. So if you know, man, if I really have more, more time, I would be doing these five things each week or day. So when you get it all down visually, you can say, ah, I actually do have time to add in these five things. I just have to cross out these things. 
my dear, yeah. So just a tidbit for you in case you are feeling the same way. You may have the time that you need to do stuff. It's just, it might be that you're wasting time doing other things. I kind of find my got to be spray because I have found that it dries so quickly, especially when I have the fan on. I'm gonna turn this fan on right here, right? And then spray the got to be spray on my edges because I need and like for those to be very hard, very defined. Again, I don't like the frizzies. I'm not into that. So let's just get these edges, no swoops. I just want it to be slicked down and then it can dry quickly from the fan. So if you end up doing this calendaring, let me know. I mean, if you have a type A personality, you're likely already calendaring or doing something. You've already got a system. It's, it's basically a system. You likely already have a system in place. But if you don't have one in place and then you implement this, please let me know how it works for you because it's just so important. For me, at least, again, everybody's different. Whatever works for you, works for you. So if you're able to stay on task and be effective and, and have the life that you want to have without calendaring, then do that. Don't feel like you have to. And you're by force, I said, I'm a king. I guess, yeah. So huh, whatever works for you is what's going to work for you. I don't think I need to tie this down, but I am because I see a few little flyaways. And we're going to go from there. Oh, and another thing too, with the calendaring, it doesn't mean that stuff is not going to come up, that things are not going to change. Stuff changes on my calendar all the time. I might have something on there that I wanted to do from eight to nine, and then I decided not to do it, or I got up late or whatever, and I just take it off because I like to keep a clean calendar. So if I didn't do that thing, I'll just delete it. If I did, I'll leave it on because also I can look back and be like, what was I doing on this day? Because it, 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 comes into, it comes in handy. Even as a business owner, if there are questions with my taxes and my accountant is like, what was this charge for? I can't always remember what I was doing on July 31st of 2022. So what I can do is go to my calendar and say, oh, I was on a trip. Okay, that might have been the cab or that might have been cash that I used to tip the server or something like that. You feel me? So the calendaring really does help when it comes to business, business materials, business in some as yes, yeah. Business tends. It does come in handy. So I like to keep my calendar as clean and accurate as possible. And I'll delete and add as the day goes on. And it doesn't bother me. If you're someone that feels like it has, I can't deal with change. It needs to be accurate. It can't change. So if this is what I had on my day and then it changes, your whole life is up in shambles. Well, I don't know what to say because I know for me, I'll have a plan and it doesn't, life doesn't always go by the plan. And I'm okay with that. I've just learned to be okay with that. No matter how type A I am, I just learned to be okay with that. This is the first shaver, what, razor? I don't know what you call it. I'll link all this below in case you want it. This is wicked sharp. Oh my God. I used this to shave my face one day and I said, never again. It is so sharp. It is very unforgiving. I mean, I was sliced up in a few places. So this is not a fresh blade and I'm just using it on my brows. This thing is sharp. The Revlon one or the and or the Sephora ones are more forgiving. They're sharp. They're gonna they're gonna shave you, but this is almost giving scalpel. I mean, when it's fresh, I was so shocked. I said, Good lord, this is sharp. I had I had mad cuts on my face. I'm not gonna lie about that. I was like crap. <laughs> I need to shave. I've been saying that and I'm going to do it and do it with you so you can see how I do it. And I shave because I want to. And no, I don't look like a werewolf afterward. You can see my face. Do I look like a man? No. Still very feminine. Still have a vagina. I just like how smooth my skin looks once I shave. But I can see all the hair. I can just see. It's, it's Vela's hair. It's very fine hair. But it is there. And I don't want it to be. Let me check my... My little stash. Yeah, I'll be having, I'll be having some Vellus fuzz right up in there. And it's very natural. Now, some of us do have more <laughs> darker, thicker hairs above the lip. But it's life. And if you don't want it there, just shave it. Or get, get laser. Girl, laser on the face, you'll enjoy it. I've enjoyed it because my sideburns were a lot more full. 
and you've seen I haven't shaved my face in what a month and look I mean barely it's just it's just very very fine here it used to be you know it used to be it used to be something <laughs> I mean it wasn't a beard but it was something <laughs> Growing up, I thought, oh, you know, I used to get teased. Yo, little kids, God almighty, I tell you. Mm. Yeah, anyway, we got to teach them from home not to talk to other children like that. But I was teased with my, my sideburns, honey. And anyway, I think that they're sexy. However, I didn't want them anymore. <laughs> All of our differences are sexy. Oh, yes, yeah. It's not weird, strange, ugly. It's just how you are and God and how God made you. And you are gorgeous stunning show stopping you feel me you are all those things let's check this out because my hair wasn't soaked so this really should be laid down and i'll fill it in at my table because i don't have the wow i almost said edge wow color wow filler i don't have it right in front of me all right so let's rip it backwards because you don't want to disrupt the hair by ripping it forward i mean who does that right let's rip it going back keep the flow going back and just take it off actually let me just this yes oh <laughs> i still have a little curly a little alfalfa you can't see it's very fine but i'll deal or i might just pull it out i'm gonna pull it out it'll go back all right i literally just pulled out a, a curly piece of hair <laughs> it was sticking out i got another one sticking out i can't do it i'll leave it let me stop but yeah nice and laid down okay and a little bit of the whiteness went away you can see a little bit of it but it's not gonna make me want to throw my whole head in the trash I love my hair in a ponytail. Should I blow dry more often? This is all me, honey. I just don't know. I no, the frizziness is annoying. And it's about to be summertime in Houston. I can't even take the risk. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna leave my ponytail like this. I actually like it like this, unkempt. There's something about it that I actually like. It's just there. I like it. <laughs> what you think about it? Mm, 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 mm. this pajama too because it's a deep v but you gotta be careful because when i went outside to get those packages it'll definitely <laughs> flow flow open uh, yeah they will open up mm. i look like i had a relaxer because my hair is more straight it's different when you slick it down when it's curly because it's wavy versus like this it looks like i had a relaxer anyhow let's move on because it's time to do this make look at me it's 11 o'clock <gasps> I have to film so many things and I'm sitting here talking. No way. hour and I'm in a bit of traffic it's not that bad I'm almost there I'm going to a place called Car I don't know how to say it Carousel Caracol hmm. no idea it's my first time there and it's in Post Oak wait po I don't even know it's on Post Oak Boulevard okay and I'm looking forward to it I'm wearing my Target dress today yeah it's all I'm sure it's like I hope it's not scrunched up because you gotta wear a seatbelt hello so I hope it's not scrunched up I'm just gonna be so annoyed if it is I fresh set for my nails and I also filmed a Sephora look because of the impending Sephora savings event and I'm excited about it I'm wearing pink blush maybe you can't even you probably can't even tell a blush I have on either way it's a very neutral look and I've just, I did this makeup at 11 o'clock so it's still really good right now my foundation is Estee Lauder and these earrings I did a video on I there it was a five or six pack from Amazon love they're clank clanking <laughs> how cute 
Oh my gosh. If this was any later, I wouldn't have made it because I am borderline sleepy. <laughs> I'm borderline sleepy. Six o'clock is, is, is late. Okay, that's late. I'm excited. I had to eat earlier because I was hungry. And I don't eat this late anyway, so I'm not looking for food. I'm going to just have a drink or two and call it a cute night. get ready to go to bed i clip back my hair i wanted to show you me <laughs> reinstalling this u part v part whatever you call it part wig earlier but then i was in a rush and i did not have time to talk and show you and i just could not think about being in frame but i put this on today and i must take it off today was mad windy you can't wear this i don't like wearing this in the wind okay let me let me let me rephrase that i don't like having a leave out in the wind because the wind was blowing and my main concern was, is my leave out out? Because the leave out needs to be in, in the hair. But I felt very strongly that my leave out was out and it's a problem. Mind you, my contacts are out, so I can't see myself that well. I just trust that I'm in focus and I don't look crazy. I took my contacts out. I have my glasses on early. These are the ones from Firmu. Y'all seem to love these. I like them too. I have them in black and I have to wear them all the way down the bridge of my nose so that my lashes can have space to breathe when I open and close my eyes, imagine. Anyway, I'm about to wash my face off. I like this makeup that I did today. It's my basic look, honey. And then we went over some Sephora recommendations on my IG stories today. So, yo, and then look, this is my hair. Hey, let me just clip this and, and go. So part of me, Part of my grown woman goal is just what it is right now because I'm grown. You feel me? When I reference things from back in the day, I literally say 15 years ago, 20, can you, can, like, can you imagine saying, oh, 20 years ago this, 15, to, that's wild. It's wild, but it's true. You feel me? And that's how you just know. That's just one of the ways that you just know that your girl is grown. Okay. When I think about that, there are so many things that I don't give airtime to anymore. I... You know, we like to say, I don't have time for that. The fact is we do have time for things, but are we going to use that time to do that thing? You feel me? One of the things that I say that I don't have time for because I don't give time to it is arguing. I don't argue anymore. How I feel and what I said is how I felt and what I said. I'm not, I don't, I also don't do debates. You know, <laughs> I look at all the stuff that goes on on social, granted, because that's where I work. I work on social and I have an opinion. I have an opinion. Mommy? Yes. But am I going to offer my opinion on a public platform? No. I always think it through and I'm like, if I offer my opinion on this, what is the reason? One might think, well, the purpose is to offer a different perspective on this conversation, on this topic, perhaps. But I know that in many cases, I'll offer my opinion every now and again, not often. I know that in many cases, my opinion may be controversial and that might spark this snowball of foolishness that I don't engage in. I don't engage in debates. I don't engage in persuasive talk. I'm not interested in anything that wastes my time. And those two things are a complete waste of my time. I have so many other things that I could be doing, you know? I laugh because I'll see stuff and I'm like, I have an opinion on that. But then I'm like, I'm too grown to get into an online debate with anybody. Because well, even, in, even, even in real life, I'll think about it and I'll say, okay, this is an issue or situation that is going on with between me and someone else. And I'll know that this is my stance this is not going to change no matter what you say or do, right? I'm at a point in my life and I've been here for a while where, again, what I said is what I said and how I feel is how I felt. And that is literally what it is. So even in real life, I'll think to myself, okay, let's say there's a situation going on. You know how sometimes you might find yourself trying to drive home your point? No, but this is what I'm saying and this and that. And you don't get it and what I'm saying. I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that. I'm grown. I said it one time 
And that's it. To continue with driving home the point would mean that my goal is to change your mind. That's also one thing I don't do anymore is attempt to change people's minds. That's called debating. We're in a debate. I'm going to I'm going to tell you what I think and what I feel and why it makes sense. And then hopefully at the end of this conversation, your mind will be changed. Absolutely not. I am perfectly fine as a secure woman with us thinking and feeling differently about a situation and me still being able to go to bed at night. There are some people who don't like that. And I am not that person. I am very okay with people having different with having differences of opinion or seeing the same situation or experience differently that's fine when i look at when i look at a picture look at that thing that was going on social one time ago is this thing is the dress blue or is it green or whatever it was and it was so much debate you might see blue and i might see green and that's okay you feel me <laughs> hey listen my energy needs to go to a lot of different places and one of them places is not going to be trying to change the mind of another person it's just not and even when it comes to arguing i just i don't i mean at this age it's really important to take responsibility and figure out how we can move forward and just go forward i don't care a lot of things anymore a lot of things do not offend me like they used to and it's a really peaceful place to be it really is now there are some things that will offend me i'll be like what the hell that really bothers me that really hurts i'm cleaning the bottom of my <laughs> my toothbrush do you ever look at this if you're looking all junky and I will recognize that and I will sit in that and then dissect, okay, why does it bother me? And I talked about this in a video a long time ago. Maybe it was like two years now or one year, yeah, two years now. And well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But what I'll do, let's say if I feel offended by someone that I care about, if it stays on my mind for a period of time, then I'll bring it up. But I'll let it, I'll let it sit for a little bit because sometimes stuff will just dissipate and I'll not be offended by it any longer and I'll just leave it. But if whatever the issue is still lingers in my mind and in my heart, then I'll bring it up. Back in the day when I brought it up, it was bang, 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 you know, all it is. And these days it's more, hey, let's talk about what happened last time because it's really been on my mind. Oh, really? What happened? Well, this happened that day and I really wanted this or I was really looking for this. And what I got from you was X. And it really makes me sad. And I was talking about this, in, I feel like a few vlogs ago, about being more vulnerable. And again, it just takes being grown to do that because leading with anger and aggression is an emotional state. So is, a vulner so is vulner vulnerability, but leading with the anger and aggression is, a, is an example of a lack of control. And let's be frank, I like to be in control, okay? I like to be in control of things. I do believe in Jesus. I do know that uh, I, I'm not in control when it comes to him. We get that. But I do like to be in control of things. And I like to be in control of myself these days more than ever. Because not being in control of self is very reckless. Going off of, well, that's just how I felt. And I felt like this. Okay, we get a lot of feelings during the day. We get a lot of feelings in the time span of 24 hours. Are we supposed to operate on all of those feelings? Are you kidding? So if you're in, if you're in rush hour traffic, or if you're in traffic in general, and someone, you know, when I was downtown, someone gave me the finger because I was trying to navigate the cross, the cross, what the, yeah, the crossway, the four way, and I was just thinking like, wait, where, where do I go right now? And I missed it. It was my turn. I didn't go. So the guy that was coming from my left to my right, perpendicular to me, gave me the finger in the car. My child was in the car, and I'm just like, what the hell? And, and with a split second, I could have given them the finger back. That would be reckless. I'm a mom and I'm teaching my child that we just do to others what they do to us. Now granted, that does have limits. But in that case, that would have been wholly inappropriate and embarrassing for me because what am I doing? Why am I engaging this person that is clearly unstable? So when we operate on our feelings and just go off the rails because this is how I felt, you're unstable. And I've been unstable a lot in my life and I'm not anymore. Mm-mm. I've learned to just breathe and take a second. And that second can sometimes feel like forever. I, I'm really brushing my teeth right now. Oh, yeah. That second can sometimes feel like forever, but there's so much power in that second. Because then what I wanted to do off the cuff, 
when I think about it for a quick second, it's not even worth it. God, I don't even say it doesn't worth it. I just yeah, it's not worth it. So I'm just so grateful. I, I, I now see that as we mature, well, maybe this is not for everybody, but as I've matured, I've slowed down. Coming from Rhode Island, being next to New York, everything is fast, 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 fast. As I said, and even talking, I, I just, I'm used to talking so fast, you feel me? And even that, I've slowed down. You feel me? You just even with that, you just that, that example I just gave. Because yes, there are some things that I'll do in a rush, but nothing, not, not everything has to be on a rush. You feel what I'm saying? Even decision making in heated moments. Because decision making in heated moments could be make or break. I'm watching freaking Potomac Housewives and I see that fight scene and it just makes me think, yo, man, years ago, that would have been me. You feel me? And another thing, when you're grown, you can't be doing stuff like that. You feel me? I get it. I get just being in the heat of the moment. Like I want to snatch and drag. You feel me? But... Not anymore. I'm, I'm, I would have wanted to in the past. Not anymore. I don't have that anger in me like I used to. And I really do give God all the glory because when you grow up and mature and slow down, you realize, I've realized that some things are just not worth it. And I don't have the energy to engage in a lot of the things that I used to. And it's not responsible. I have a lot more to lose. So evening thoughts while I brush my teeth and catch up on oh, Potomac. Real Housewives of Potomac. Oh, Lord. I watch these shows for entertainment. And it also just reminds me of a lot of things that I don't want to be that I used to be. You feel me? <laughs> now, I'm going to just do my thinker. Ah, this is, you know, it'd be pulling. It's a little bit tight on my scalp. Good Lord. Ooh, right here, it feels sore. I'll take this off. I do not keep these units in overnight. Do you do that? Uh-uh. I need a freedom. I need a free dumb. Do you hear me? Oof. Ooh, I was pulling. I'm gonna do my skincare routine in the shower. Ooh, good lord. Yo, my hair's so <laughs> my hair's so long that sometimes it's annoying with these units because it like what? It just never ends. I love doing my skincare routine in the shower because I can be so messy and not worry. Whereas at the sink, oh my gosh, I'm trying not to, ooh, this hurts. Wow, that was sore. At the sink, I'm trying not to make a huge mess because brown mm -mm, brown makeup everywhere. Why? All right, here's the U-part wig. I, I wanted to do a middle today, but I didn't. I like the side on me. I like the side. So here it is, nice and straight, kinky straight, and... Really, really nice. I like it. This is the hair that was out. Okay, that's how I parted it in case you're wondering. And look at my hair, it goes down here. Wowzers. Yes, I have breakage, it's life. I need to look in the mic. I slicked down this part of my hair with that edge control from TikTok. I'm gonna link it, Baskin Lather. I didn't realize they were on Amazon. So it's on TikTok and Amazon. Black owned. I just put my hair in this raggedy, bun slash ponytail here in the back you feel me and i'm going to use this revlon Ooh, i didn't realize how tight that was my scalp is sore oh crap mm, that hurts whoa right here and right here i'm gonna use this tomorrow the color silk tone gloss and care it's supposed to dye my hair black and also make it glossy whatever i'm gonna do this tomorrow i don't have time to wait 20 minutes and I don't wash my hair at night because what? I hate having to go to bed and then the bed is all, the pillow's all wet. I mean, yeah, I might, I'll do the head tie, excuse me, the head wrap, the head scarf. What you call it? You don't talk about, you don't talk about <laughs> the freaking, what you call it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the head towel, you know, when you wash your hair. I put that on my head to go to bed. Look at that piece sticking up. But nah, yo, it just, it's still be getting wet. I can't stand that. Okay, let's go in the shower. Yo, yo, good morning. I just finished a workout and I'm so tired. I didn't bring you along with me because originally I wasn't sure that I wanted to take you with me. <laughs> originally I wasn't sure if I wanted to, to even film it. And then I decided to just film it. I'm so tired. I did abs and, was it abs and, it was abs and glutes today. And look, the abs are just defining themselves. 
Your girl is going down. Down, down, baby. Open oh, and I a doom, doom, baby. I'm ready to let it go. I don't even know if that's how it goes. I'm making up stuff. Okay, my hair looks wild. You can't even tell that I straightened it yesterday. Remember this area? Crazy. Granted, when I showered, I didn't cover my hair, so the moisture did mess up my hair. Today, we're going to I'll wash my hair, obvi. But before that, let's get this tone and gloss and situation going on. My hair looks wild. Wow. Why? <laughs> Why go on, Popcon? Oh, yes, yeah. Excuse me. Dang, my hair looks crazy. Okay. Now, do I need to part? Listen, I didn't part. I don't be parting my hair to do these kind of things. We're going to just jump in and do it. Again, this is the Revlon Tone Gloss Care. I'm doing black because I dyed my hair black months ago, maybe January. And we're going to just revitalize that. Yeah. Okay, to be decent, I really should put it in at least two. I, I should at least hey, put it in at least two. At least I should put my hair in half. I just use my nails to get, to get it down because, hello, I mean, it's going to work. And thankfully, the clips that I use are black. So we'll just do this in two sections. You feel me? Yeah, that'll be decent. <laughs> and I'm keeping my tank top on because it just makes sense. It's black. My hair smells so good from the other day when I washed it. I hear it, it makes sense because if anything falls on me, it ain't going to be a problem. Okay, let's get this going. I I just so ha I am so much like my mom. I just so happen to have gloves. Why do I have gloves? Well, because I'm grown. And secondly, because I am my mother's daughter. Okay, I'm going to have what I need in excess. Actually, I'm the kind of person who has mad. Actually, I need to re-up on my paper towel. I need to re-up on my paper towel because I'm running low. Like, why don't I have a lot? I need to have a lot of paper towel. A lot of toilet troll. I mean, yeah, a lot of everything. So here we have the what? Activator. Mm-hmm. Have the activator. Then we have oh, I gotta get my finish this. Okay, I finish it. And then we have the color. You feel me? Which is the one step tone gloss care. All right. Let's open this on up and get this going. I am shaking because muscle fatigue, yo. I was shaking as I took off my what is this? I gotta get this piece off. Why is it? Oh. A little random piece. I was shaking as I took off my sneakers. Muscle fatigue. Where we at? Hey. Wait. Can you just squeeze? What's going on here? I gotta poke that? Let me not get this in my eyes. Hold on. What? What? Go What's going on here? Did I break something? Okay, let me get a two. <laughs> what? Let me get a floss and stick it in here because I don't know what's going on. Now, do you color your hair? Oh, yeah. There is something in here. That I need to poke. But how am I gonna poke this? Look, I'm taking the bottom of my floss pick. It's not working. Hey, I don't wanna get this in my eyes. <laughs> Wait, it's not even working. This floss pick is not even working to poke it. Okay, I got it a little bit. All right, I poked it a little bit. A little bit. Then you here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now it's coming out. Okay. Ooh, now my grocery is about to come. I ordered some stuff from Instacart so I can make a set. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost time for lunch. I'm gonna make a salad. I want to have more. I need to have more greens. I do. I need to have more greens. So I want to make a salad. Oh, I'm gonna use some crispy jalapenos. I'll show you crispy jalapenos. Oh, I should go boil my egg so that it's ready. Boiled egg, crispy jalapenos, my jalapeno ranch dressing, and ooh, this hole is not big enough. It's just taking too much of a squeeze because this has to be in my hair for 20 minutes. So it's going to be all good if I just go prep my food. And let's see, what else am I going to put on it? I don't be putting any cheese. I don't, I don't need to. And I can, I'm going to keep it simple. Oh, I'll make some salmon, blackened salmon in the air fryer, honey. Dang. Oh, wait, the first part of this, that's so different. The first part of this was this light yellow. And now there's a light brown coming out. I wonder why. What is that? Okay. okay. It's supposed to last up to 28 washes. Is this going to be enough for my whole head? Last time when I, well, the first time that I dyed my hair black as of late, I felt like I needed another box of dye. I was like, I don't even think I have enough because... I just did not feel like I did, but thankfully I managed to dye 
my whole head so it worked but i was like this is not gonna be enough but thankfully now whenever i do it i'm really focused on the roots i don't care about the rest but this is supposed to gloss too so i do care about the whole thing <laughs> i'm saying it to convince myself because really i just care about the roots girl i don't even know i'm just banking on when you go like this it will just saturate the hair the way i need to you feel me because i don't think this is going to be enough for my whole for all my hair my hair's long let me focus on these roots look at that i'm already halfway through and i haven't even done the strands of my hair there's no way what have i done the shaft what do you call the, the base the shaft yeah like what how am i supposed to put this i would need to mm, 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 mm. okay i'm focusing on the roots all right so if you have if you ever plan on using this and you have long hair girl you got gonna need two of these to get all of your head in my opinion now admittedly this is a very bootleg job okay it's very bootleg and i'm here for all of that i'm just squeezing in all the extra this is just extra 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 read all about it Ooh. Ooh. okay now it looks a little gray color i won't say that i had a lot of white hairs but i did have enough where i was like oh okay and then the front was starting to show a lot too and i'm like oh okay we gotta we gotta get this thing going so january February, March. So perhaps I'll dye my hair every two months. Okay. That's cool with me. Ooh, let me wipe my hairline. Cause what will happen? Will my will this dye my skin? Yo, you I remember my mom used to dye her hair. <laughs> She's got that B-Gen hairline. Yo, it was mad dark. Excuse me. It was literally a line. I don't like that. That's not what I want at all. <laughs> funny to me because i would never forget that i used to be like ah not mine I, mm, what's going on here I, I, yeah, no you, you you have a lineup from your hair when you from your hair dye why what was going on when you did this <laughs> so i do not want that i mean i do want my edges to be dyed because look like right here i got a white hair let me not let me not forget that but i don't need you leaving marks Yeah, when you think about it, a lot of people be dyeing their hair, but they don't be talking about it much. Because I be looking like, yo, you need to tell me you haven't had gray hairs yet? Nah, you had them, honey, but you just ain't saying nothing about it. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. You don't have to say everything. But it just makes me think like, whoa, I've never seen her with white hair. But she's definitely of age. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, people are just doing it when they, when they go to the hair salon. See, I don't go to the hair salon. So maybe they're just doing it at home. I don't know. I don't know what people are doing. I don't like doing this at home, no? Can we talk about an unpopular opinion? Okay. I remember back in the day when I was a makeup artist, I would take pictures of my clients and post it on my social. Okay. This was over 10 years ago. All right. No, this was over eight years ago. Times were different. In this day and age, especially since I work in marketing on social media and i understand the cost of my name and my likeness and i don't do that job anymore i of course don't put people in my content without their consent and of course ooh, I'm gonna die on me. and i just don't do those kind of things anymore that's just not I, I don't take pictures of clients okay i don't even have clients in that way anymore okay what i'm trying to say is because of how things have changed for me and in the realm of social media unpopular opinion about going to hairstylists and them expecting you to be you the client who is paying you're not going for free a paying customer to be in their content for them to post on social media my answer is absolutely no again my name and my likeness cost money this is my job now i don't think it's even right for a, a lay person either but i can only speak for myself i don't like that idea there's no assumption that if I go to you to get my hair done, that I'm not going to be featured on your page. Nor is there an assumption that if I go to get go to you to get my hair done, that I'm going to feature you on my page. I will feature you if I want to, right? It's not by force because I'm a paying customer. Let's not forget that I paid to be here. It's different if we had a contract in terms and conditions before engaging in this service that spelled out 
whatever those terms and conditions are, then that's different. But as a paying customer, I think it's absurd that there's this culture of expectation when it comes to being a client and then that service provider posting you on their platforms. I think it's absurd. You'll find folks that don't find an issue with it. I definitely do. That's partly why I do my own hair. But the reason why I do my own hair is because one, I know how, and two, I enjoy doing it, and three, it's content. And I have had hair campaigns in the past. So it's just, it's, there's, there's a lot of reasons to it. But I, I certainly have an unpopular opinion when it comes to that. There's no, I don't have to do this. I don't have to agree to be on your page, and I don't have to post you either. This is not a have to. Why did I say it? I paid to be here. I just don't like that. I see the discourse on come makeup ready. Absolutely not. Uh, you, you are not allowed to whip out your camera and start recording me without my consent. <laughs> and if I say no, the answer is no. You know, this shouldn't be an expectation. I just see that these, I just see that there's an expectation and that to me is foul. Asking for permission, sure. Expecting for me to say yes, no. Or creating content with me in it and doing so without permission is absurd. That is absurd. That is a problem for me. And it will always, oh, I still have looked over. It will always be a problem for me. I think it's just raggedy. No, I will never stand for that. I won't. So comment below and let me know. When you get your hair done these days, if you go to a salon, have you encountered that? Have you said yes? Have you opted into being captured on content? Do you allow for the hairstylists to post you online? How do you feel about that? Let me know. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You know what I'm saying? Just to house it for a second before I go put it in the garage where I house the big old boxes. I like to get jumbo blueberries because anything that's not jumbo is just gross. These jumbo ones be so juicy. I be having a look inside these blueberries, man. I just, what? They usually be so fresh. This is from H-E-B. Let's give these a rinse. I cannot stand fruit that is freezing. My teeth can't take it. Granted, I haven't whitened in a long time. Oh, it's getting dark outside. It's about to rain. My tea cannot stand it. I, I cannot stand it. So when I know I'm about to eat these, I will keep them out. They can't be freezing. I can't do it. Oh, these are fresh. I'm so crunchy. Where are these birds coming from? No birds out there. I can't stand. What are you eating? There's no food in the grass. What are y'all eating? Ah, what are the birds? 
first E in the graph. Nikki on Earth. Why are you here? <laughs> difference in my hair color I didn't realize does the dye get faded I felt like my hair was way more brown it, my hair felt black but black brown whereas now it looks black <laughs> so it was time for me to dye my hair I can see so yeah I love my little curls right here that is so cute and that body lotion from Josie Marin honey that body lotion is so good excuse me phone ah. hi and the fragrances so good as well i do we i have no okay to me this is obviously and i'm sure you would agree a very adolescent hairstyle right but it's not about it. it's just so cute to me i've never done a professionally done set of long braids two long braids but i want to do that one day it's just not a style that will last you feel me wait oh i did four i did four feed-ins yeah i haven't done it all the way down though that'll be cute i should try that one day my braids came out actually cute today usually i do this real janky but i realized oh and i i use the pattern beauty moisture milk and this is so creamy and thick that if it's not accompanied by a lot of water i can't get my finger through my hair so i had to i had to put water in my hair at the sink to brush it through to get it soaked and then braiding it was a lot easier. I gotta remember that because this is very thick in the best way, okay? All links are below if you want it. So I did this because I'm going to put a wig on, give my hair a break for a few days. We'll see how long I can last. And I like these net head stockings because the hair can still breathe while it's being cinched up, you feel me? The other ones are just closed and it, it easily be all funky and stuff. Who has time for funky hair? Not me. We're not doing that. Okay. 2024, we're not doing funky hair. Why is your hair funky? <laughs> Please, let's not do that. Okay. And let me put some, do I have some oil? Let's, well, see, because the oil be messing up, it be messing up the got to be. So let me do my Nigerian <laughs> hair vinegar. Is it a vinegar? Virgin is virgin hair. It's not vinegar. <laughs> let me not take too much again because. I need, I can't have too much product on the edges or the edge control don't be, it don't be working, you feel me? Now, it is one o'clock. I need to eat and I want to put on makeup, but I have work to do. So which of those, which two of those is most important? Eating is important, okay? We already, this is, this is literally like what I do. Eating is most important, okay? So that leaves work and makeup. Now, makeup is work because I'll be filming it. However, I have other administrative tasks that are required, like editing, like reviewing videos, like posting content, and then I'm watching stuff. Ah! Listen, I not only create on social, I watch social. YouTube is my television, and I'm watching. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> you wanna know? I am deep, I am me, I am, I am forehead deep in the Fonnie Willis situation, okay? I am now forehead deep in the Young Thug trial because you know the TikTok, the TikTok lady, the black girl, would be like, I'm not a lawyer, but <laughs> I love her. She's so good because she's so entertaining. So it made me start thinking, Ooh, what's going on over here? You feel me? I don't know who Young Thug is. I don't do those things. You feel me? But it's just so interesting. I guess that this is real life. It's not, it's not fake. This is actually happening in real life. So it just makes it more shocking. So there's that going on. There's all kind of, yo. <sighs> Shirley Strawberry and Ernest Williams. I cannot. Oh, too many thoughts. Okay, too many thoughts. So there are all these different things. I'm like ah, but I do need to eat. At least I washed my hair and I dyed it, and at least it's ready. I have this other wig. I have this new wig that's a body wave that needs to be personalized. I think I have. I think I bought. Did I buy a new curly wig? Hold on. Oh, I did. I just never opened it. I bought this a minute ago from IC. Yes, it's another. You know why? Should I put this on today? I have to personalize it. 
Yes, because I do like it. It's just a matter of coloring the lace and then cutting the lace, coloring it. I don't remember plucking that much. And then doing a few layers. That's what I did. I did a few layers. Yeah, because this is a cute look. Because I gave my other one to Marie. She wanted it one time. This is a while back. And I've just never did the new one. Oh, I should, see, I don't have time for this. See what I mean? I just took out this new wig. Who has time to now come and personalize this? Excuse me? Crap. I need new hair options. I'm sick and tired of the same old, same old. I'm going to link this below if you want it. It's, oh my God. Wait. What? Why are they not so yellow? I don't recall them being like this. Or is it just my eyes? Hold on. It looks so yellow. First of all, these things be smelling. Ugh. I hate the factory smell that these wigs be having. But I won't even lie to you. I don't be taking time to wash them when they're brand new. Yo, who has time for all of that? Ah! And thank God I don't have I don't have sensitive skin, so I, I've never had an issue with the chemicals on my skin. So oh, thank God, because could you imagine? But this is how it looks straight out the straight out the bag. It has this elastic in the back. Normally, obviously, I would put on well, a, a slide. Oh, I said sliding. A non-slip. You feel me? The whole thing. I'm just throwing this on right now to show you something. Yeah. What? I would. <laughs> I mean, like I did last time. I put my bronzer. Well, I did something on the hair. I, I have to just do all that because this is straight out the box. Straight out the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay and it's a what five by five so we're not doing the edges but if the wind blows you're still good and i normally pull this more you feel me or maybe i didn't i don't know i gotta see this line looks crooked and has some is this crooked it looks like it's an angle whatever and i like how it's not it's not um big you feel me I don't be like it when the hair itself just feels like it's up here. So it's nice and flat and I can flat iron this to bring it more here. And then I used, what did I use on the other wig? Uh, anyway, I used different curly type products on it and I framed my hair in the front a little bit. It's a natural 1B color. I could dye this black, but no, I don't be putting that much effort into wigs. I, I don't have time. No, it's just supposed to be something easy for me. My dear, yeah. So here it is. This is the natural curls. But when I put the, what did I put in here? Oh, I put the Pattern Beauty Curling Mousse. Yeah, that's right. That was, that was last year. I put the Pattern Beauty Curling Mousse in it. Oh, and then I combed it and then I just ruffled it a little bit. Oh, it was so cute. Yeah, I gotta go back to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what I have never done is when the girls be taking their hot comb and going like this and then the hair be looking like this. It be looking so nice. I've never done that. <laughs> I normally just want the hair to come down like that. You feel me? Because what? So we're going to see. And then I remember plucking more, right? Didn't I pluck it more to give, my sp give myself a deeper part? Because look, I could do that to make it look a little bit more realistic because the shorter the part it just be looking like girl you got a wig on i mean it is a wig duh hello we're not trying to hide that yes <laughs> we're gonna call her wig every day of the week <laughs> time's been moving slowly so we already in Get no sleep on each other, carry teasing all day. And when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you.